Everybody, it's Bailey Wakey, and uh, this is going to be a fun session today. We are, uh, this is, I don't know, episode four or five of bringing DC20 into Foundry. I know you guys are excited. The comments are always uh, pretty, uh, pretty replete. Uh, but today's an extra special day because we got Coach with us. Oh, hey, yeah. Coach. Let's go. Let's go. I'm, I am so excited to see this. Uh, the, this has always been an intimidating thing to me that I let you guys know, but the <laughs> more y'all do to it, the better it looks, the more I'm like, I want to jump in here myself and do some stuff. So well, let's do it. But my, my goal here, you've spent so much time on this system, making it awesome. Everybody's so excited. My goal is to honor that and, uh, and to make sure that, you know, I've always wanted, like I, I I've always said, I want this to be the best iteration and implementation of DC 20 in the universe, in the VTT universe, right? Um, and uh, and I think we're doing a pretty good job. And the thanks really goes to Patrick, who's done so much of the work Patrick's on with us. He's going to show us some really new stuff today that is really exciting. These are kind of like, in my mind, the last two big pieces that make this like a like a really full playable system, like create an experience that somebody who's never played DC20, who's been playing DC20 for a long time can drop in and have a really right. good experience playing it. So that's that's what we're gonna show off today. I haven't even seen some of the stuff that we're gonna show off today. So uh, with that, are you guys, you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, great. Yeah. All right, so Patrick, um, maybe we start uh, just opening a character sheet just for coaches, benefit i want to orientate him around well one we have a new character sheet if that's not obvious to everybody this has uh had gone through some redesign which i know everybody's been excited about um but i wanted to just have you orientate coach a little bit on like what's happening this sheet is actually smart and it's facilitating a lot of the things that a new user to dc20 is going to appreciate so maybe walk us through a little bit of the design changes that that some might notice or not notice and then let's just kind of go through some of the basics really quick yeah, so first thing, it is this new design for character sheet is way less cluttered. Uh, I think we can open old one. I have one right here. Perfect. So here you can see the old yeah. one. It was, well, so most of this is feedback from DC20 community. So it was very heavy on the eyes and overwhelming in some cases. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I decided to streamline a few things, make it maybe a little less flashy, but easier for players mm -hmm. to navigate mm -hmm. over. So we can jump to all to new one. And here first yeah. thing. Yeah, I can uh, see you, you can... cleaned up color gradients yeah. and, you know, got a lot more grays mm -hmm. and, and blacks I like that and that everything's whites. in that top, top mm -hmm. section. Might say, now is that, can I click a, a might save right there? Is that Yeah, might exactly. Save? You can oh, click, wow. click and might you save, save and you save. will have... This little pop-up with uh, the thing I called roll menu. Uh, mm -hmm. It will you will be able to provide advantage and disadvantage level help dices, and also here is a little button that will run roll level check for you. So with DC20, there is a lot of things that can provide advantage, disadvantage, and all that other stuff. Uh -huh. So we will automate it, uh, and it is automated already to some level so for example for might save heavily impaired will provide disadvantage if i remember correctly yes so yeah. now our character has second level of heavily impaired so right. when we run that check it will oh, it uh, tell us. wow yeah and it will auto populate it and you can just roll with double disadvantage right Amazing. <laughs> And it's so and, big when you're trying to learn a new system, if you've kind of like try to remember what to track every time, like to have it automated and you right. saw you can like hover over things and see tool tips. And it's just right. very, very helpful. Like we played a live battle with this, uh, me and my team with Patrick, uh, mm -hmm. what, one or two episodes ago, and we just picked it up right away. We just hovered over the tool tips. We're like, okay, this is how we do this. And it's, it's very, very nice. Right. Well, for me being an absolute novice when it comes to this, because uh, I have play online, but when I do, I have dice in person. I have everyone has their sheets. It's just literally a screen share type thing of a map. That's as advanced as I get. But this is very exciting, especially 
introducing new players because I'm, I'm looking into doing players with like new people and plays with patrons and stuff like that but like to be able to see that physical save button and the mental save button right there all next to the attributes with their saves and their checks and the numbers that's just a beautiful little section right there that's yeah. very intuitive Love that. and you can do you can get foundry so flexible you can play simply right you can just have like a picture and that's it and you do everything with dice in person and mm -hmm. you can have paper but we're showing you like if ever if you want to do everything in the vtt yeah. like all the bells and whistles you can have that experience and it's and it's a really good one okay uh patrick what else uh what do you want to orientate us just a little bit around what we're seeing here or kind of how you move things around yeah so header i would say of that uh, character sheet was a little bit too i focused too much on art on it before mm -hmm. right now it's there are more bars like this, uh, mana, stamina, uh, grid points. There are all, all in small bars. You don't have those big images here. Yeah, so yeah, it's great. it also helps. Also, there are uh, some changes. So for example, we get rid of all, uh, old roll many that was present all the time on the character sheet. Mm -hmm. And also uh, there was this roll up here when you click on the item with roll many so we it was functional but ugly so we removed that and moved it to little pop up right here so for example when you nice. try to use long sword uh, you have different maneuvers here oh, the maneuvers so, are baked into it mm -hmm. yeah and you can either read description when you hover mm -hmm. over it or you can just simply check this little right blobs here so it will tell you for example that it will be dc 14 physical save versus day's condition mm -hmm. so and here you have expected cost of that roll so if i add for example days and sweep attack uh -huh. it will go to free and maybe uh -huh. i also want to add uh, bleed to it so it's four so all my action points or I don't want to add, add, add that. You want to add advantage on that? How would yeah, that look? I can. Uh, I have this button right here, so I can spend action points to gain advantage. Oh, and it does it right there, and it's yeah. laid out the same way as the other thing too, with the advantage disadvantage thing. So that's exactly. that's perfect. It's so nice. Like your economy is just laid out for you, and you just click things, and you see how it adds or or subtracts. It's. And I yeah, really do also... love the help dice section too. It's coming back here again, but that's it's in such a great spot. Because, oh, uh, a hunter got a heavy hit and now it has a D8 that you, oh, make the D8, add a D8 to that. And you just click the little D8. And yeah, exactly. It is. Yeah, also, uh, there are some extra buttons here. So, for example, if you want to roll that item without spending anything, you can just roll that uh, with like, that piggy bank is selected. For example, you have to reroll something because you messed something up and all that stuff. Also, those four here are for bonuses from three quarter cover, half cover, flanking, and for that weapon it's versatile, so for oh, versatile. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you select flanking, for example, you will gain plus two, if I'm correct, uh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. to your mm -hmm. to your roll. Same thing with versatile. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So let's roll that item. And uh, now we can see it was with advantage. We have that attack. Yeah. And we also are able to add condition directly to actor character for example mm -hmm. let's say we will do it against that big bad cobalt so we failed we missed so no damage right. for him but he still has to make a save so he will do that oh and it brings that for the cobalt oh almost yeah that. and he failed so gotcha. we will uh daze him now he is dazed he has that condition. So now you don't have to remember that he's dazed, assuming that dazed is one of the ones that's automated. But you know now it'll apply. It'll take his any any yeah. penalties from Mental being dazed and, and automate oh. those. So, so the GM doesn't have to remember. The players don't have to remember. It just it's works. Just dazed, right? Yeah. Now so let's roll men some kind of mental check for him, and he's dazed, so disadvantage one. Right. 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 Cool. Right. That's a good reminder to make sure to, to refresh that thing in the center to make sure you like scan for any sort of things going on. So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And then from the game master side of things is, am, am I seeing it as like Patrick sharing a screen? Am I seeing it as if I was the game master too? Like if a player made a role against one of my monsters, would I see that 
this little thing on the right hand side and I could click on it, interact with it. Click yeah. The dates yeah, exactly. Cool. Cool. And, and, and you have extra control. abilities as the GM to manipulate some of those things. You can back out damage. Mm -hmm. You can, you can half damage. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. other things that you can do as a GM to interact with those cards that are elevated, uh, you know, Just capabilities. Yeah. Exactly. Let's, uh, let's say, for example, with that miss, I would say, I would want as a GM deal one damage or because I want it just like that, even if it uh, missed. Yeah, I said so. so I can just manually add that damage uh, and then I can yeah. click that hammer and it will apply damage message will print what happened, why okay. that damage was right. added and I can revert that. So right. if I want to, that's yeah. cool. It's good. Yeah. So... Okay. Well, I think that that's pretty good for now. I want to jump into the candy. Because um, I'm yeah, really so excited. One, to one, see one it. second. So okay, that's, yeah, one more. Okay. That's that's uh, two two more things. So one, that's NPC sheet. It's smaller. It's uh, yeah. mm, there great. is less calculation on it. DM can just provide those values if he wants to, because right. those are for most cases calculated. But also, we as a DM can change those. So. For example, we have novice armor, we can take it off and it will calculate automatically. Mm -hmm. So uh, with this... Uh... It's, that smaller sheet's really nice because when you're the GM, you only have so much screen real estate, right? And you may have yeah. multiple right. NPCs that you're, uh, that you're managing on the screen. So it's really nice to have a little extra real estate there. Exactly. And you can shrink and all those down and kind of leave them on your screen without having them all open. Yeah. But you can even keep only headers if those are necessary for you. Well, I also like the part of the sheet that point out that says the action points. It has the little el electricity symbol. Uh, the, no, in the bottom. And the yeah, right, right there. This, this, and like yeah. there's one and two and technique things you can apply. Yeah, I yeah. like that too. Yeah. Okay. So and the last thing for me uh, because. Two people from your community coach wanted, uh, well, they hated the color palette I was using. So they asked me for uh, a way to change it. And there it is. We you have mean you can make it not to... purple? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I hate it. Can... Yeah, get me out of here. <laughs> oh, that's it. But I'm you can make it red. Green. <laughs> red is also cool. So, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, there yeah. is option to do that. So... I am much more new about palette. customization than I am about the color purple, so I absolutely support yeah. that, so no worries. So, uh, for example, right now, because it was uh, that, that tool was accessible before, but it has few more additions, so you can import and export those, uh, those palettes, so people mm -hmm. can share those, and also uh, you can have live refresh, so you can ch uh, see changes in color, colors live. As you update that so for example now it's wow. yeah so there you go everybody so, you can have your cake and eat it too exactly Any color you, you can now play with that that's cool and Any i hope i will see a few few nice. cool coral palettes mm -hmm. people can uh, I, I might even include those in the future updates yeah come to the uh, discord is it just a json file that they would export yeah, that's, yeah. Just that's come to the Discord, and maybe we'll uh, even get a channel somewhere where we can have you just post them. But yeah, if you have a cool uh, color palette, post on the Discord. That's yeah, cool. exactly. So that's that's it from uh, as as it comes to changes to uh, right. character sheet. Okay, so I understand that you've got a new character creator system. Is that right? Yes. You have this new little button right here, character mm -hmm. cre character creation wizard. So okay. we can open that. And here, uh, let's select maybe that image. Yeah. yeah. How does this Dragon Ball born is named? What's his name? Fenroar. Looks like a Fenroar. Fenroar? I like, like, that. like, yeah. Sure. So um, we have two save masteries to select. So let's say agility and int, yeah. and uh, maybe he is. Uh, so right now we can either provide those points uh, right. manually by selecting that, and we can now have some custom amount. So not exactly not the base amount. So 
like no, so, so you, so by the... default y'all are doing the point by yeah exactly the point by method is the default and if you wanted to do the standard array of the three one zero negative two with two floating points you could do that manually then enter them in manually yeah, yeah. or i had a few comments about i was doing roll, roll for stats and i have some different custom one so uh, custom ones for example they don't add right. to uh, 12 but maybe for to 14 right. so you can also provide those manually by right. just selecting that let's say he is uh, intelligent one and a little bit of might agility not really not really charismatic there you go yeah so we can now select ancestry oh cool so he is a dragonborn you can read about that but uh -huh. also if you want to you can you can see all those traits so can... does it give you the default by default and can you swap those out uh, yes uh, i will go to it next but also you have option to mix your ancestry so okay. like like that you can you have this little pop out pop out and here is compendium browser that allows you to uh, browse the oh. compendium so let's say it will be half dragonborn and half human okay yeah sure, and sure. now we have dragonborn dragonborn humor here human here and it's from human and dragonborn mixed ancestry oh, so we can okay. read about those but let's let's go with dragonborn so we can go next now we can select background and now for the class so real quick on the real quick on the ancestry so if i was cho did choose dragonborn but i wanted one of the expanded ones instead of one of the default ones where at what point do i switch those out uh, it will happen uh, in the next steps oh, okay, okay so right now you just select like the basics what i'm then, wanting then yeah will, cool yeah so let's say it's why not it's a commander yeah. Also, you can read about Commander and mm -hmm. all that stuff. That Commander is so, a great class, by the way. I got to see it in uh, full effect in our yeah. combat. It, 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 he was brutal with those. <laughs> what was this round? It was round? well played. Yeah. <laughs> my, my NPCs were nuked by him. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right. So, yeah. weapons. so okay, now we have here. starting equipment. So we can hover over that question marks and we have a description what starting equipment should you get. And now we can just open compendium again and yeah. drag and drop, for example, battle axe. So, oh, uh, wow. I love the drag and drop. Okay. Maybe I want to heavy crossbow mm -hmm. for him or mm -hmm. okay. And now for equipment, uh, novice heavy armor, mm -hmm. and maybe one healing potion. Right. Yeah. So let's uh, close that, finish that, and it opened. Uh, here we have our dragonborn. And yeah, here we have our uh, advancement window. So yeah. now. Uh, our character was created, all uh, unique items, how, that's how they are called, were added. Okay. So Commander, Dragonborn, and the beta background. And now we, we go over advancement system. So first thing uh, we can, so we can see our features that we get from Commander. Right. We can apply this. Uh, Martial expansion is special special advancement that is created when you oh, either yeah, take martial character or if you right. uh, take your first martial talent. Mm -hmm. So we have three uh, maneuvers and also few weapon styles were harder to implement than the others. So those have to be added as, an, as items. Okay, I was like, where's the other ones? But I, it makes sense. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so those are uh, easier to implement. And now we have things from our uh, Dragonborn. Uh, you can see that Reptilian superiority is right. uh, yes is uh, oh, yes, mandatory. Yeah, and okay. now I can, for example, turn off resilience, uh, brave weapon, and yeah. dark vision. I have. I want to take 
and uh, you have protonic protection mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. yeah and here you have information you're about calculating fighting. what i've got left to spend mm -hmm. that, so beautiful. mana increase fix skin and glide speed why not and we go. apply that and now we have maneuvers we uh, we need to select few oh cool okay so now let's see i have i want to select maneuvers and expose take down don't and if i click on those just individuals that say what they do okay yeah, there you, you go can... yep. And also, you can uh, open it in pop new window if you want. Oh, to. I see that too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so Gosh. that's uh, from advancements, and now. Ah, uh, and there's the skill points. I was, I had the, I, had, yeah. I was like holding on to some questions, and you keep just already answering them as the. That's that's impressive. Yeah. So here you can. There are buttons to uh, convert uh, skill points, for example, to knowledge mm -hmm. points. So you mm -hmm. can click this, and it will. Change. Oh, so I see. let's say that's the idea for our new character. Right. And with traits and languages, there is also a possibility to convert those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's okay, like this. We spent all our points, so we can finish. And now our character is ready at the first level you can see that it has all his items here we can equip nice. that um, battle axe we can select item to uh, to add it to favorite list and then it will go on the first tab <clears throat> uh, okay so those are from commander Gosh. our techniques we that is can so nice. right there Real quick, right there. The only thing I can think about, as far as from a, from a, someone who doesn't know and it's like a brand new player, like, is there any way, as far as those whip style, spear style, chain style, like, for where what the rest of those styles are, or something that says like all the styles? Because it it from my, my if I was mm -hmm. thinking from a new player's perspective, I think, all right, why don't I have the sword style? Why don't I have the axe style? Okay, you so know? there is option to read about this in in the rules. So. Uh, which, which chapter I'm assuming those are just the more complicated ones, like you said, and then they had to be. Yeah, so those uh, those are, let's say, those are only as a, some kind some kind of dummy items because in the background, those will will be added as an advance uh, as an an, an enchantment for uh, for example chained weapon. Okay, and when you. I will add some chain weapon to my inventory. But they do have the other styles passively. And if yeah. they wanted to go to the yeah. rules, they could just look them up and see what they were and mm -hmm. all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Because, uh, for example, with Axe, you deal extra damage to bleeding targets. Mm -hmm. So um, let's make that character bleed and attack with that Axe. And... Oh, you do the search? If you did the search thing? What search? Oh, okay. With uh, no, no, no. It will going. not. It it is for roll level, but oh, for roll. damage. Okay. Uh, I need to hit, so I will give myself myself few advantages. Any advantage? Yeah. So right now you can see that when you hover over that damage, uh -huh. you can see that it's base value plus oh, axe passive cool. style. Great. Okay. So it automatically accounts for that. You don't have to know that you're wielding an axe and the target's bloodied. It, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it does yeah. all of that for you, too. And I love the mouse holdover. Mm -hmm. Does the breakdown of where all that came from. Yeah, you, you know? can see yeah. the math, decide if, if it did it right. And it helps you learn the game, too. You go, Oh, okay, I for see sure. how it added it up. That's good. I want to know yeah. how that works better as a GM. Well, especially, yeah, for example, um, if that's, that's heavy hit. So let's reduce that to four. So and refresh calculations and now it's brutal hit so it's base value oh, yeah. brutal hit impact mm -hmm. and axe yep. style passive which is all from anyone who's played dc20 in person or, or had to not had this be automated everybody knows the game of like all right so the base is two you add yeah. up the heavy and brutals you add up the extra stuff and then it's just that's all right there yeah. and it and i love that it accounts for it like like you're saying like bailey said to teach the game too so mm -hmm. That's brilliant. Nice. Yeah. So now we can do a level up, I think. Mm -hmm. So 
uh, here is this button right there. Mm -hmm. There is there is a level and combat mastery. Uh, mm -hmm. And let's level up. Uh, we have our pop-up right here. Uh, so first thing uh, we have combat uh, yeah. combat leader and commanding aura mm -hmm. as our second level advancements. And also we can drop new item on that advancement and add it as a, our talent. And I have favorite terrain here because I like it. Okay, uh, I uh, will add it uh, here. And favorite terrain gives you a few choices. So uh, right now, I mean, before this update, those were baked in into class. But right now you can merge choices with specific items. So right now, we, when I drop favorite terrain here, I can just apply advancement and it will know that I have to choose something. Oh, wow. So grassland. That blows my mind how this up. thing, how y'all set this thing up to know what it needs to know and what it triggers other things to need to. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And the goal is to not hard code it, but to make right. it as flexible. Helpful. Yeah. <laughs> flexible and also give people power to create their own items. Right. With configuration. Wow. So let's apply that. And also, it's uh, our martial talent. So we gain one maneuver and one technique. So mm -hmm. let's go with slam. And for techniques. Oh, OK. I am. OK, we cannot. OK. Oh, OK. But because Maybe that's technique name? origin and not name. Right now. Oh, <laughs> OK, yeah. now it works. Cool. OK, cool. Yeah, so uh, because there is yeah. option to provide uh, origin for the technique, for example, right. in the future when technique will be from barbari barbarian, you can provide right. it and then you can filter with only barbarian techniques. Right, right, right. So heroic leap. And we gain one attribute point. So we cannot spend that here because we have our limits. Yeah. But we can spend it on mind and finish. And that's our second Amazing. level. That's so easy. Wow. That's so, so stinking easy. You could literally level up during a set. I usually be like, all right, and you guys level up. We'll take care of all the level up process. But you could literally level up mid session and it wouldn't just kill the, the, the session. That's crazy. Yeah. So, okay. This is awesome, Patrick. This is great. These, what I they consider these kind of the level or character creator and the leveler, like the last two pieces. Uh, there's obviously going to be more. This is going to be developed forever and continue to get better and better. But like, as far as being able to jump into a game and play it, I've already done a session, a couple sessions now playing combat. It was totally smooth, totally fun. And this was even before the stuff that we that we're looking at today. So um, people are probably going to be wondering, well, first of all, is there anything else that you need to show us before we kind of talk about mm. what's next? I I I think that's that's good, all good for now me for now uh, yeah well, i want to encourage everybody to uh leave a comment uh let us know what you think if you have ideas things like that um i'll link to the discord as well you can come in there and join the conversation but in terms of what's next i mean this is this is pretty full featured there's going to be more stuff that you're working on patrick you feel free to comment on that um but you know kind of a, the big next push uh for me is going to be where third parties and development of third party modules some things that you guys are used to and like to see things like carousel combat some things from ripper some other popular stuff that's out there a token action hud that's that that capability to be able to enable that's coming fairly soon as well so you won't even have to open a character sheet you just like click on a token and you have all your actions right there. So it's really, really friendly for GMs who want to just like boom, 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 navigate around and and execute really complex uh, combats. Token action HUD's a really popular one for that. Uh, so that'll be coming here as time goes on. And then uh, I think the next big push is just V9 and all the content that will be coming down the pipe. Coach, what, what do we know so far? I'll give I'll give a a, a good old Bailey exclusive here, uh, but uh, my goal for zero dot nine. Uh, so I got good news and then uh, hopefully gooder news. Uh, I was a math teacher, not an English teacher. Um, but uh, zero dot nine, I'm hoping to be hoping to be a Christmas present to the DC twenty community. So uh, the, the late December is my goal. Right. Uh, even though I try not to say dates, but then also another uh, the good news on top of that is I right now and it should be finished 
this week or next week, I have a like a, a developer kit of like super early access stuff that I'm getting ready for. Really, you guys specifically, you guys have been the pioneers when it comes to VTT. Y'all are leading the way as far as what it's capable and available. So uh, I'm getting a complete change log, like the fighter rework, uh, all the different stuff, the level two reworks, all of those things y'all are going to be able to get. Uh, the sorcerer uh, is going to be the first one to be the subclass is done. Y'all will get that as well. So y'all will be able to implement this to where my goal is. Since I respect what y'all are doing here so much, my goal is that when I release 0 0.9, y'all already can release, you know what I'm saying? Nate, yeah. I'm not putting that on yeah. you guys. Because to the same for, for those who don't know, when you're dealing with VTT, you've got to get the content, the, you know, Coach Craze content, then we've got to get into the VTT platform. Right. That has to come in and become items and objects and stuff. And then you've got to code some of those things if there's going to be automation and oh, smart stuff yeah. involved. So there's a level of sort of development once Coach hands off the content that then we take and and actually implement. So, uh, yeah, depending on, you know, when and how and if you get us stuff early, obviously we have uh, time to do that, but just to let everybody yeah. know the mechanics of actually deploying into Foundry, there's a there's a, some sort of delay between when we see the content and when it gets deployed. And so my goal in giving all that as early as possible is to have that delay be as little as possible so that mm -hmm. I can release 0 0.9 and y'all are already on the back end of it, almost done, and we're done, cool, boom, there it is. And then- Well, I mean, we don't like to brag, Coach, but we tend to move fast in the Foundry community, and uh, really we're do. chomping at the bit to uh, to see um, V9 and really uh, get some games uh, cranked up. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. So I'm excited. Awesome. They are killing it. Absolutely, I'm I'm super impressed. I mean, Patrick, amazing job. Bailey, amazing job. At whatever, like this is this is nuts. What you guys have been able to do especially to a, a VTT uh, noob like me, I see myself more and more so like, oh, you know what? Let's make characters in Foundry. You know what? Okay, let, let's mm -hmm. roll the, let's make the roles in Foundry. Like, I think that I see more and more of myself, different aspects of TTRPG running the games, being done through this and taking the load off of myself as yeah. a game master. Well, that's great. Well, that, that'll that'll be a goal of mine. A subtle goal is to is to uh, get coached to only want to, to run games on on the foundry version because yeah, it's just I mean, that good but i'll i'll let i'll let you come along as as you feel comfortable in the meantime everybody in foundry is super excited uh everyone who's in your community and my community has just been super involved and we appreciate everybody all the inputs as you can see patrick takes these inputs we take these inputs and and uh right. continue to refine this thing to be the best it can be so with that thanks patrick thanks coach for joining really excited about Thank this you. And uh, and that's it. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. See you, gang.